Setting aside, of course, the legal and ethical questions for just a moment, the case of Daniel Hauser puts alternative medicine in the spotlight. Joining us tonight is cancer specialist Dr. Francisco Contreras, who is a recognized expert on combining both traditional and alternative therapies in treating cancer. He is also chairman of the cancer treatment facility Oasis of Hope in Tijuana, Mexico. Good to see you, doctor. Thank you very much for having me, Randy. Tell me, if Daniel Hauser is on his way to Mexico with his mom, or maybe even already there, what type of alternative treatments could he actually get there? I think there's a number of alternative therapies that could be offered for him, but in the case of uh, Hodgkin's lymphoma, there is no question that chemotherapy shines. The problem is that uh, the side effects can be brutal, and I think that what happened is that after his first dosage, the mother just felt that the chemotherapy would probably kill Daniel, and uh, she opted uh, not to take it anymore. And so the problem in most of these cases is that the patient is not fully prepared for the chemotherapy. And uh, uh, many alternative therapies can do that and diminish the onslaught of chemotherapy by the patient not uh, responding so mm -hmm. harshly to it. And uh, we've had uh, several cases like, like that at our clinic. We have been able to um, convince the parents that chemotherapy is the best. And when combined with alternative therapies, the side effects are diminished. Well, just and, and we've been very, very successful. Take me very quickly, if you can, through uh, your total care approach that you use at your clinic. Well, uh, we not only take care of the physical needs of our patients, but also the emotional and spiritual needs. And, and I think that when you combine all of those together, the patients are more apt to receive a harsh therapy and have better results. Uh, uh, we have been very, very successful in treating uh, uh, Hodgkin's lymphoma with a combination of therapies mm -hmm. like this, and the patients suffer very little side effects. I've been reporting on this story now for a couple of weeks, and a lot of people have asked me, this family is giving their son uh, vitamins and ionized water and fresh vegetables. Does this stuff really work? I mean, can this really be better than chemotherapy? There's no question that some patients will respond, but no, in, the, in Hodgkin's lymphoma, there's between an 80 and 90% chance of cure with chemotherapy and radiation therapy. And I am sure that no matter how good uh, uh, alternatives are, they will not report that high of a percentage. And that's why I believe that in this case, a combination therapy should be given to, uh, to Daniel. And just uh, for, for future reference, can alternative treatment work with any kind of cancer or just specific types of cancer? Uh, well, there are some cancers that respond better to alternative therapy. For instance, uh, cancer of the lung, where 95% of the patients die within the, uh, within the first 12 months, uh, we have about 30% survival rate at five years with a combination of alternative therapies. And, uh, and so in this case, alternative therapies are better. But for most cancers, I believe a good combination is in order. Dr. Contreras, thank you so much for your... Uh very valuable information tonight. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. Have a good night. Thank you.